First tonight at 10, purple all around for domestic violence awareness. October putting focus on the nationwide epidemic that unfortunately plagues our tri-state communities. But it's not one many organizations are working to fight. And when it came to repeat offenders, one Evansville officer noticed a glaring problem in the way those crimes were charged. And that got him working with the state to ultimately help abusive victims. 44 News reporter Valerie Lyons sat down with the officer in a story you'll only see here on 44 News. Hey, go get a protective order. He'll keep this guy from you. And I don't know how many times I've heard, well, that's just a piece of paper. Sergeant Matt Cargis has held several positions with the Evansville Police Department over the years. But when reading reports as a motor patrol supervisor. I thought there was a little, maybe an injustice in the way that the domestic violence charges were there. He noted the gap between existing laws and enforcement, ultimately leaving victims more vulnerable. We're telling people that, hey, they've gone out of their way to get this protective order to try to protect them, to keep this person away from them. And when the actual fear came to fruition and they got abused or battered or hurt, the protective order didn't do anything extra for him. An injustice he wanted to correct. So he reached out to local representative Wendy McNamara. I want to do everything we can to make sure we try to do the best we can to keep that person safe. And with some help, Senate Bill 79 was signed into law. Previously just a misdemeanor, it now raises the crime of domestic battery to a level six felony if the victim has a protective order against the suspect or if the court has issued a no contact order. And that means potential jail time. No Knowing that we have an advocate uh, in the EPD to recognize uh, situations like this, as well as many others, I uh, am thankful that I have them as a partner in doing a lot of this work. So far this year, EPD has received more than 4,400 domestic related calls, though Sergeant Cargis says that number probably doesn't paint the whole picture, but he's hoping this new law will usher in some change. To know that, hey, maybe now we'll be able to use this out here on the streets, being a policeman, you know, seeing some other policemen will get to um, put the charge on somebody that deserves it, you know. Domestic crimes are some of the most common our officers see. We get a lot of that, I'd say every day. So while the calls may unfortunately never stop. It's against all the bad elements and it's all across the state. So uh, I, I think it's pretty cool and pretty neat. And hopefully things like this will keep picking up steam and come law in other states as well. It's enough to know his efforts will make a difference. In Evansville, Valerie Lyons, 44 News.